The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Here we're asked to solve this system of equations by graphing. So we're looking for the point of intersection for these two lines. There are a couple differences with this problem, however. First of all, notice that our two lines are not written in y equals mx plus b form. So our first task is to convert these equations to the proper form before graphing. For our first equation, we would subtract 3x from both sides to get negative y equals negative 3x minus 3. Divide both sides by negative 1 and y equals 3x plus 3. For our second equation, subtract x from both sides to get negative 2y equals negative x plus 4. Divide both sides by negative 2 and y equals positive 1 half x minus 2. Now we're ready to graph our lines. For our first line, we have a y-intercept of 3, and think of our slope as 3 over 1. So we go up 3 and to the right 1 to plot a second point. Before graphing this line, however, let's plot a couple points on our second line so that we can determine the general neighborhood of where our two lines are going to intersect before we actually draw them. For our second equation, the y-intercept is negative 2, and our slope is 1 half, so we go up 1 and to the right 2 to plot a second point. Notice that our two lines are going to intersect somewhere to the left of the y-axis. So we need points to the left of the y-axis instead of the right. So for our first equation, for, for example, instead of using our slope of 3 over 1 to go up 3 and to the right 1 to plot a point, let's go in the opposite direction with our slope, down 3 and to the left 1 to plot a point. If we go down 3 and to the left 1 again, you see that we have a point that might be a candidate for a point of intersection of the two lines. For our second line, our slope of 1 half can move us up 1 and to the right 2, but it can also move us down 1 and to the left 2. So this is actually our point of intersection. If we graph our two lines, you can see that our point of intersection has the coordinates negative 2, negative 3. So that's the solution to our system.